What's happening, Wargamers? Welcome to our meditations on the most recent game of Star Wars Shatterpoint. Uh, I know this is probably going to be immediately dated and corrected in the comments, but I think we actually got things right this time. Yeah. I think. I'm there pretty were... sure we, we're doing okay with yeah. this now. There might, there might be some tactical things we missed in there, but... Uh, so yeah, this was uh, this was basically a Vader-on-Vader Vader fight. The uh, Emperor's Servant versus Jedi Hunter, which I think was an interesting concept that you suggested, Alex. Yeah, uh, it, I thought it would be interesting to put new versus old and see how they hold up against each other. And... I was really skeptical about the damage output of Emperor's Servant versus Jedi Hunter just walking up to someone and saying, you are dead now. Yeah. Um, I'm wrong. I, I will I will eat my words on that one. Emperor's yeah. Servant did some damage. Yeah, like I got to say, like Emperor's Servant pretty much single-handedly held this flank. Yes. Right? Like he, he rolled up and he just did his thing. I think I got like four or five activations out of him this game. Yeah. Which... You know what? I, I underestimated you cannot hide forever as an ability. Mm -hmm. um, in this game where you have no real direct control over getting multiple activations of a character, his ability to get shuffled back into the deck, even off a shatter point. Yes. Like, like, seriously, oh, if, we, if we got that wrong, somebody tell us. Yes. Somebody tell us if we got that wrong, but based on how we read it, it sounds like it happens. But getting four or five activations off uh, off a single character, especially a beat stick like Vader, mm -hmm. like he doesn't need to go up and one shot somebody every single time. Like he just he he just needs to go up and cause some damage, right? And get shuffled and back he in. He can he can do some real damage. He can set he tees himself up. That's yeah. the thing is you. I'm so used to characters <laughs> in this going. I'm gonna tee up someone else. I'm gonna tee up my buddy over here. He's gonna come and knock you down. And he's over here going, no, I'm teeing myself up. I'm coming back and finishing the job. <laughs> we're, we're not done here yet. Come back here. <laughs> uh, yeah, no, absolutely. And I think just like I saw some synergies with this particular list between the bounty hunters, Django and Luminara, and I kind of ran with it. And it was a much stronger list than I anticipated. Mm -hmm. And this this is coming from a perspective like I don't go into the nitty gritty with all this. So I I was looking like this is going to be good. Yep. I don't know how good. And yeah, the amount of movement I got off whenever Vader just took a move down. Oh right? yes. Um, uh, you got a lot of repositions off of that. Um, <laughs> Speaking of a lot of repositions, those stormtroopers, they moved like crazy. They did all the things that they needed to do. Well, what happens when you have a good supervisor? Yeah. Right? <laughs> the stormtrooper supervisor. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I, I do want to say, like, I think you had some really good play out of your Inquisitors this game as well. Like, I think outside of the fact that I was just able to keep hammering in on your guys with Vader, like, your Inquisitors were otherwise doing a pretty good job over on this flank. Yeah, they... I love the Inquisitors. They t they have a few things that they do very well, but they do it very well. Uh, I, I think once you're able to get the Stormtrooper Sergeant into that squad instead of pawns, it might feel a lot better. I, I'm not sure. Well, Because he does have... Aren't some support your right? your inquisitors are galactic empire are they not that is true yeah so like he can make them he can make one of them advance right off the hop actually both Ooh. of them yeah he makes both of them hop so you can actually do a full uh, inquisitor squad with uh with vader jedi hunter and the stormtrooper sergeant because he's only a three uh a three point oh yeah, yeah he's a three point uh and that would actually means that you can get your uh your supporting uh, unit like that you is can, true. You can dash one of your supports right up the uh, right up the gut, right off the hop, right? So, that, it would be good. Or not dash, sorry, advance. Yeah. And that's a lot it's of a distance. a lot, especially for, like, fifth brother who just loves being up there. And the the distance covered by here's a free advance followed by here's a advance followed by a force jump is considerable. Yeah. Um, yeah, no, yeah. so I, th I think the sergeant actually would be a nice addition to your particular list. But I absolutely couldn't bring him in this game because then there'd be two sergeants, and that would be just too confusing. You know, two of the same character. There was a scheduling error. The, man <laughs> the manager scheduled two supervisors at once. <laughs> oh, man. Definitely can't bring two of the same character. That's that's too much. <laughs> but, um, no, I, I, think your, I think your team did overall really good. And a lot of what it came down to is, like, because we had a very tight game, a mm -hmm. lot of it. Like, the last, uh, the first struggle we ended on, I think both of us were up to, like, momentum three. Yeah, minimum. And this game we're up to momentum four. Mm -hmm. So it was a very back-and-forth game, and it really came down to, like, one or two activations that kind of tipped it Yeah. Uh, in in favor. Because, I mean, you, you look at our, our damage board here. You have injured every single one of my yep. characters, and I think I got every single one of yours except for third sister at this point. Uh, yeah, because I got... Her down. Oh, yeah, I did. Yeah, you got everybody. Yeah, we both so, got everybody. Yeah, so we both got everyone. This was a very attrition-y game. 
Honestly, I think this is probably one of the best I've felt in this game as far as yeah. like back and forth goes. It was so fun to just like I never really f every move I felt I made felt impactful, but it never felt like oh I'm doing this and that's game it's over. Yeah. Yeah, like there yeah, at no point did I feel like there was that that one movement where it was just a feels bad for the other person. Mm -hmm. Um like obviously there were some moves where it's like oh oh no, I, I'm in danger here, right? <laughs> uh and I think I was probably more on the benefiting side of that particular one mm -hmm. uh, with Vader just doing Vader things. The stormtroopers waking up doing some really great things themselves. Mm -hmm. Um yeah, like all, all in all like everyone really performed well. As weird as it sounds, like I I don't I think Django might have No, no, Django performed really everyone showed up for me. Everyone did their jobs. Yeah. Bounty yeah. Hunters too. Uh, and even on your side, I think Pawn still actually did his job. I think the unfortunate thing is we just didn't pull the center objective. The yeah, center. he was like teed up to do some really impactful stuff there that did just didn't really come to up. Uh, charge the giving uh, Vader a dash, even though it just took off his pin a couple times. That's still good. That yeah. still tees him up to do some other stuff. Oh, for sure. Uh, yeah, I, Pawns was still good. I love well, Pons did his thing. Like Pons is unfortunately still a bit of a three-point tax. Yep. But once you get that new sergeant, I think the sergeant replaces Pons easily. Easily. I think is what it comes down to. Um, but I mean, like Pons can still do some stuff. He's he's showing up in two games for you, and he's done some good work <laughs> in those games. I just love him. Uh, Look at this guy. I think something that really caught me off guard though was Vader's ability to just kind of go, "I'm going to heal myself. Going to heal myself." Oh. <sighs> It's th that over the course of like two or three activations where he went from I he think healed, six damage to nothing. He healed five damage off himself. Yeah. Because what was it? He he activated, he healed two, and then you took out one of my guys, so Luminar's Flow of the Force allowed him to, oh, yes. uh, yeah. to to heal up three as well. So he was at like nine and he was brought down to four or something like that, or at seven brought down to two. Mm -hmm. And then you weren't able to attack him again and he got to activate again because he failed to take somebody yep. out. So he's just like back to full health. Yep. <laughs> just obnoxious. And to a lesser degree, the Stormtroopers too, they healed up pretty effectively. They did. They're weirdly durable. This this is the first game where I actually feel like I really played around the ability to recover. And I recovered yeah. a lot this game. Yeah. I think Luminar is a very good combo in this list. She's a very good combo into this list. I... I I really like that because I like Luminara as a character quite a bit. Mm -hmm. So I'm glad that she kind of feels like she has a home here. So, yeah. Uh, do you have any closing comments? We need more Vaders. Need more Vaders. <laughs> we need four more Vaders. That, that's, <laughs> that's it. I want, I want episode six Vader where his face is half, his mask is half destroyed. Get, get, uh, get, give, us, uh, give us Vader from, uh, from Obi-Wan with the other half of the mask destroyed. <laughs> so, yeah, no, that, that's, that's really cool. Vader no. mid... Uh, <laughs> suit up in that <laughs> orb. Uh, yeah, so I, I'm all for it. I think New Vader is great. I think the Stormtroopers and the Sergeant, on first glance, it's kind of hard to see their value, but I think after playing with them, they are awesome. Oh, yeah. They're really cool. So, yeah, there there we go. Uh, hopefully, we'll get some more games in and uh, bring some more content down to you. Leave your comments below. Uh, let us know what you like, don't like, all that sort of great stuff, and we'll see you next time. Happy Wargaming.